Hi, today we have with us Anil Bhasin, VP and Country Manager for Databricks in India. He is responsible for the company's go-to market functions and adoption of Data Lake House. Hello Anil. Hi Shyam. Hope you are doing well. It's great to have this conversation with you. To start off with, if you could just explain Databricks' vision for India. Yeah, so first of all, thank you for having me here. Uh, you know, Databricks in India, I think the way I would like to put it is first our company vision, which is to help solve some of the toughest problems that our customers have leveraging data AI. Okay. That's clearly our company vision. <clears throat> I think I put a higher cause uh, with the Databricks India team, which is how do you help India become the world's first data AI driven economy. And the way I think about that, my team thinks about that is how do we help our customers? Because if you look at the Indian economy, you know, there are many industries which form the cog in the wheel of the Indian economy, whether it's on the banking, financial services side, digital native side, manufacturing. So if you take the top accounts, leading mm -hmm. accounts, right? How do you help these customers transform uh, to becoming a data forward organization? And I think we play a key role and this is exactly what we've been doing. Mm -hmm. So if you think of this, if you transform these leading customers, there's a waterfall effect in the next set of accounts where customers look up to these customers, which we call as the beachheads, and they want to replicate what success they've already seen. Mm -hmm. And that way you're transforming the industries as well. And I think then you can go to the government and work with them in terms of whatever their key projects are. That's how I think of building India as the world's first data given economy. And I think we want to be the partner to the Indian government in that sense. And that's the position that I think we want to play with. When you talk about the government, right, are there any ongoing conversation when it comes to that whole vision of partnering with the government to work on the larger uh, AI landscape in India? It's still a very young journey. You know, we've been uh, recently, we've started our operations last four years and it's been growing very rapidly. Mm -hmm. Our first focus is, like I said, to work with industries and customers to make them successful yeah. before we came that we can actually help solve not just government problems as well. Because we are a cloud native company, yeah. we need to work with enterprises that are cloud native or have you know their data on the cloud and are willing to transform. That's the first goal that we want to solve for before we take those steps uh, in the direction that I just mentioned. Talking about the enterprise side, right? you guys have a lot of partners as well when it comes to India. Some of the top are um, Air India and Mintra and Misho, uh, right? Um, if you could talk about what kind of conversations you've had with them and how is Databricks basically enabling the, these partners if you could Talk about that. Our approach is really about first making sure that we, from the lens of the industry that we serve, whether it's financial services, manufacturing, you know, retail, mm -hmm. we really want to understand the trends and also specifically to customers that we serve, we really want to understand their pain points, right? Mm -hmm. Invariably, what we do is we kind of work with them through a workshop uh, where we realize, you know, the challenges that they have, right? Help them. Uh, put those challenges in terms of what the current state is, where is the data state, you know, whether data is siloed, what are the different systems that they use, what are the sources of data that they use. And then we present a point of view to them in terms of, okay, this is your current state, these are your challenges, and these are the outcomes that you want. So how do we help you design a future state? And that, I think we help them either validate their data strategy or business strategy around data, or we help create that for them or co-create that for them, right? That's the first step in terms of just presenting a point of view in terms of where they are versus yeah. where they need to go. Essentially, most customers want to be a data forward organization, right? Mm -hmm. And in that journey, they want to kind of modernize the data platform. This is where they see strategic partnership with Databricks, given the fact that we were the inventors of the lake house, right? That's mm -hmm. the new paradigm that everybody knows. In fact, uh, MIT study says, 78% uh, of the CIOs that we or MIT interviewed said that to scale AI mm -hmm. uh, and kind of scale them across, you know, for business strategy is the number one priority in the next 12 months. So how do you bring a platform mm -hmm. that allows all of the, you know, data folks, whether it's on the data engineering side, data science, ML side mm -hmm. to really look at a single source of truth and then serve the use cases that they want for, uh, for their customers, right? Mm -hmm. That's what essentially the lake house did and then we added a recently rising phenomena called the generative ai where we are the pioneers and we brought that capability also additionally to the lake house to create a new category called the data intelligence platform the other thing is the enablement piece right we also want to make sure that they are enabled to leverage their capabilities helping them achieve their business outcomes 
enabling them and creating a system where both business users, technology users can really use the capabilities of the platform. A very successful year when it comes on the business aspect as well, right? Uh, really solid numbers when it comes to India. Um, do you think uh, AI has contributed to it? And, uh, and what's the target going ahead? Again, just the numbers are global. They are what they are. I think mm. the good part is India uh, is uh, is one of the fastest growing markets for Databricks, right? Mm -hmm. Not just for EPJ, for globally as well. Uh, our focus is really about making sure because there's so much of demand, right? And there's so much of legacy. Mm -hmm. We really want to first help customers and there could be different customers who want to either move from on-prem to cloud, right? Mm -hmm. They want to do analytics on cloud, that's one. The other is where customers are already on cloud, but they want to move from native services to Databricks services because yeah. of the differentiation that we bring in. So I think from that standpoint, there's huge opportunity across all of the verticals. Mm -hmm. So will we continue seeing the growth? Yes. Are we bullish about India as a market? Yes. And that's why we made those investments, whether it is on the people side, whether it is on creating partnerships, whether mm -hmm. it is on making sure that the infrastructure is available. So yes, I think as far as I'm concerned, I think there's a huge opportunity for Databricks is equally for the customers to yeah. leverage Databricks strategically to become a data forward organization. So whatever growth rates that you're seeing globally will continue to be mirrored. I, I would argue maybe will be even faster and better in terms of the growth rates, but mm -hmm. yeah. When it comes to generative AI and uh, India or the larger spectrum as well, right? Globally as well. What, what do you think, where does it go from here? Uh, a lot of conversation has been ongoing. Um, recently, we also saw data, uh, a lot of announcement when it comes to NVIDIA and Databricks as well, right? Uh, so how has that partnership been and what's your um, what's your take on the whole uh, generative AI thing? Where is it going according to you? So first of all, it is a very rapidly rising technology and the good part is, you know, uh, you saw the uh, acquisition of Mosaic, Mistral and everything yeah. else. It's really about making sure those Gen AI capabilities are now available in our platform. So mm -hmm. we want this, the data intelligence platform, the new you know, category that we've been talking about, mm -hmm. uh, that should allow for whatever capabilities that customers want. Our own views, it's still, you know, a lot of customers are looking at use cases. They're ex this is more exploratory right now. I think mm -hmm. it'll be some time ago, uh, some time from here before we settle down into what exactly can, you know, Gen AI do in terms of real capabilities and, you know, on a sustainable basis. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that customers have easy access uh, to highly accurate, low cost open source LLMs. We mm. want to make sure that they can use their LLMs, uh, the choice of, you know, whatever custom models that they want to, uh, to, to get. So all of those things are what we are focused on right now. Mm. How will it end in terms of the future of Gen AI? I think we just have to wait and see, uh, but there is definitely excitement. I think everybody wants to know how do you leverage AI, not just for democratization, but also for scale. And I think those are the things that we are focused on getting customers, like I said, just now we talked about the UPL use case, yeah. but you know, what is it that you really want to solve the use cases? Yeah. So it really depends from customers to customers. Our job is to make sure those capabilities are available in our platform in a manner where customers find it seamless working with us. Definitely. Um, and also about the uh, NVIDIA partnership, right? Which was announced on um, at their uh, flagship event, GTC. Um, what do you think of NVIDIA as a company and how has the partnership with them been for Databricks? Yeah, I mean, it's still <clears throat> very nascent. I think the good part is you saw the announcements. Yeah. I, I'm not going to get into that, but yeah, uh, how is it shaping up right now? It's definitely one of the most promising uh, relationships that we have with NVIDIA. The impact, only time will tell in terms of what that impact is, but the customers have been really uh, very happy about that. You know, we have a partnership with NVIDIA like we have with other uh, you know yeah. players as well uh, they are an important player in terms of just providing uh, infrastructure and things like that but yeah i mean like i said time will tell we are very bullish which is why you know those partnerships for us across the board play a critical role in serving our customer needs final question right uh, again um, with with partnerships uh, or uh, with investment in mestral with partner acquisitions like mosaic ml uh, Databricks has definitely placed itself in this market as one of the leaders. What uh, do you think this entails, all of these partnerships, acquisition, when it comes to the APAC region specifically? It's the same globally. I don't think APAC is any different. I think from our standpoint, it's mm -hmm. the continuous improvement that we want to make on the capabilities that we have. Mm 
Mm -hmm. I, I again go back to what I said. We were pioneers of generative AI. We are inventors of the lake house. We mm -hmm. now created a new category of the data intelligence platform. And mind you, we are a company that unleashes innovation. We are, have been, almost been at the cutting edge. And again, this is all focused on understanding our customers' pain points and business yeah. problems and then helping them solve. So the evolution of the platform is self-evident in terms of how we have uh, seen. Uh, some of them is natively built. Sometimes we look at these acquisitions as strategic partnerships that can help build some of those capabilities mm -hmm. uh, and try and go to market faster with those capabilities so that customers can take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. And I think this is going to be a continuous effort. I don't think this is going to stop. I don't see us uh, being uh, complacent around innovation. I think one of our biggest focus areas is how do we kind of make sure that we are leading the curve in terms of technology and innovation for our customers mm -hmm. across industries. And that's what I think we are seeing in APJ as well. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, a lot of our customers that we have are from the same industry. So whether you pick up a customer globally, if it's financial services, you'll see probably the same or more complex use cases with the scale that India has in APJ or any other country in APJ. So it's really testing us on scale. It's really testing us on complexity and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the journey we are on. So I, I definitely am bullish about Databricks and we've proven this time and yeah. time again that we are market leaders, the leading AI company in the world. Got it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.